Assalamu alaikum, my name is Balikis. Welcome to my video. Um, for this hijab, we are going to be needing our front hijab length, our back hijab length, and our head circumference. So let's get started. The first thing we need for this video is our front hijab length. And to know the amount of fabrics we need, we need to multiply our front hijab length by 2. So mine is 36. Multiply by 2, that's 72. So at least I need 72 inches of fabric. So I'll just take my tape over it to check if I have the exact amount of fabrics that I need. So I'm just taking measurements of the fabrics I have. So it is 72 inches. It is the exact amount I need. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fold my front hijab length into two. And since mine is 36, I'm just going to fold the 72 inches into two. Thereby having 36 inches at both sides. So I'm just going to place it on my table, which I'm doing. Then after that, the next measurement we need is our back hijab length. We should note that the front and the back is not the same. Because if you make it the same length, then the jab is going to jump at the back. So my back jab length is 42. So I'm just going to subtract my front from my back. So that's 42 minus 36. I'm going to have 6 inches. So I'm going to be folding 6 inches from the front. So I'm just taking my tape over it to cross check if I have 6 inches. So I have 6 inches. Please, we should note, if our hijab is going to have cap, then we're going to have to subtract the number of cap from our back hijab length. So, for example, now, if I'm going to have a cap of 3 inches, instead of me folding 6, I'm just going to subtract 3 from 6. Then I'm going to be folding about 3 inches. So, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to fold it into a triangular form. That's what I'm doing. Then after folding, I'm just going to start inserting my front hijab measurement, which is 36. So I'm going to be chucking 36 around. To form a triangle. So I'm checking it around to form a triangle. Then I'm just going to take my scissors and cut. I'm cutting exactly on the line that I marked. I'm cutting on. Yes. So after cutting, this is what we are going to have. We have a triangle. We can have a triangle after cutting. Then opening it up, this is what we're going to have. Then our back is going to be longer than our front. So this is it opening it up. So to sew it now, we need our head circumference. The head circumference I'm working with is 20. So dividing that by 2 because the jab is folded into 2. So that will give me 10. So I'm just going to mark that 10 inches. And I'm going to notch it. So to sew it now, what we're going to do is to take from one notching part to another notching part and fold about one inch. We fold in into two for about one inch and then we sew on it. Then we sew on it. Then we now come from the notching part downward. From the notch part downward and then we sew on it. Then we can hem the down part or use our overlocking machine in it. So coming to the sewing part now, I'm just going to fold it into two. I'm going to fold it twice, about one inch. And this is to give the front, the head opening, that is the front part, a good look. And one thing about this place is that one has to be very careful and one's hand has to be straight. Yeah, so I'm just going to be sewing over it. Yeah, 
then if you feel your hand is not straight so that you can't really so over it you can just use your overlocking machine to give the front part a good look also and this is where we are going to insert your cap if you are going to be fixing cap to heat so basically i'm just still sewing on it So after sewing, this is what we should have. The front part should be like this. Yes, we should have it like that. I'm done sewing the front part now. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like after sewing. So this is what it looks like after sewing. And then the next thing we are going to do is to fold our part into two from one notch part to another. And then we are just going to sew the remaining front parts. We leave the jab opening and then we sew the remaining front parts. I'm still taking my measurement again. So be sure that I have my 10 inch. Then I'm just going to sew about 1 inch downward to cover up the front part of my job. I'm just going to take it to my sewing machine now and then sew down. So after sewing, this is what we are going to have. So I've sewn the front part, then that's the jab opening. Yeah, it's clearly the jab opening. And I'm just going to turn it to the right side. So after turning to the right side, we have to notch. We have to notch the front parts. So basically this is how the front part will look like so i'm just going to give the good press yes. so the opening of the jab and then the front part pretty easy right then for this part i'm just going to take my machine over it in order to give the front parts a lasting stitch because I don't want it to be losing. So I'm just going to take my machine over it using my back stitches. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just top stitching on it. So after top stop. After top stitching on it, that's what we're going to have. <coughs> So basically, this is how our hijab is going to look like. The front and then the back. That's our hijab finished look. I hope you're able to make yours. It's quite easy, right? Please make sure you make yours and try to show us so we can see. Take care of yourself. And thanks so much for watching. Thank you for watching.